Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Terry, and I like to buy stuff, and you found Terry Buy Stuff. Hey, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button below, ring the bell, and that way you'll be notified of more shopping fun that happens here on this channel, and it helps the channel. So, let's get into my newest Amazon find. This is a multifunctional electric cooker, and let me show you the rice I made last night. I have never had any kind of appliance like this in my kitchen. I've always kind of wanted one, but you know what? I get in trouble because I buy appliances and they get too many and it's too much on the counter or under the sink. And isn't this perfect? Mr. Stuff absolutely loved it because I said, I really want to start making rice and ramen, make it easy for me. This has actually six functions that you can cook in here. You can do everything from rice to porridge, ramen, hot pot, stew, and even brown rice. So white rice, brown rice, a, a lot of stuff you can do in here. It has its own timer and modes here on the side. Look here on the top. It, when I picked the rice up, when I took the top off last night and I was like looking at my rice, it just absolutely was perfect. Comes with its own measuring cup here that you can use. And then look at the inside. All the measurements are right there. So it tells me brown rice, rice cup, max stew, porridge, steam, and minimum. And I want you to keep in mind, this is not a vegetable steamer, it's a cooker. So I don't want to confuse you with that when you see the word steam. To make one cup of rice, I filled this up, filled it to the one cup line here on the rice side, and it was absolutely perfect and fluffy. Now I want you to appreciate here the settings. They're also on the lid. See, there is my settings. And also, right here on the lid i love this it tells you use m1 for rice m4 for ramen m2 for brown rice m5 for porridge m3 for stew and m6 for hot pot i have my own little hot pot so oh by the way here's a little rice scoop and one more thing i absolutely love a crusted rice on the bottom it wasn't burnt but my rice on the bottom of this cooker had the perfect golden crust and it was such a good little treat after having my rice. Honestly, the brand is Fika. It's easy to clean, it's easy to store, it's easy to use. And right now I'm gonna go down to the Stuff House Kitchen and put this to the test. I'm gonna go on the porridge setting and I'm gonna attempt to make risotto in here. Perfect, creamy, beautiful risotto because that is the hardest thing to make. I already know I can make amazing rice and this is never leaving my kitchen now. <laughs> I'm always gonna make my rice in here now, but um, let's go try a risotto. So absolutely love it. It's my new little cooker. Here we go. We're off to the kitchen. Oh, I can, I can feel the heat right here. It's already getting hot. Okay, so let's start with a little bit of olive oil. Put a little pour in here. There we go. Then I'm gonna do my dried onion. You could use fresh onion, but I like dried. There we go. Get it all in there. If you were using fresh, you'd use about half an onion. I'll give this a little stir. I love that it comes with its own utensil to stir so you don't scratch. Okay, and you'll see that'll start to get hot. You can already see the oil's beating up. All right, M6, woo, she's a sizzling now. Okay, now I'm gonna put in my rice. Here we go. I gotta stir it up, get that nice and coated. And if you could smell this, ooh, it smells so good. Okay, so you get a nice coating on there. All the rice getting coated. I love how easy everything moves around in here. And now I'm going to put in my vermouth. Ooh, 
more to go. Alexa, stop climbing. Oh, that smells amazing. Okay. Mm. And now, I'm going to put a little bit of onion powder. And then once my vermouth boils away, then I'm going to shut her off. You can see it's still kind of cooking there. so much anymore. Okay. Looks good. So okay. now and I'm gonna hit it until I get to porridge. M5, there we go. And it says 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Chicken stock. Keep going. Here at ramen. Keep going. And there we go. And you can see here, guys, right here, the line is on porridge. Give it a little stir. Now I'm going to cover. And notice there, M5, if you forget, says porridge. There we go. So I'm going to let this run for about 10 minutes and then check back in on it. Okay, guys, 35 minutes in, still a little soupy. Oh, it smells really good. So I'm going to put that back on there and we see that little hole steam comes out. It says I got 24 minutes to go. But uh, just wanted to give you a little peek under the hood there. See how things are going along. Okay, guys, I'm checking in. 30 minutes here. See, we got that steamy top. All right, let's take a look. Ooh. This looks good. And that looks pretty good for risotto. I'm going to stir my butter in. Get it down there towards the bottom. Get a little melt going. And then my Parmesan. I'm going to get it nice and mixed in there really good. Oops. Make sure I still got you with me. There we go. And stir. Oh, it, I wish you could smell this. It smells absolutely amazing. The butter's melting. Look, there's that little bit of that pull there. So we're really going to have to taste it to find out if this is as good and as creamy as it looks. Look at that. Normally, I would be standing over, stirring, stirring, stirring. That's why you don't make risotto so much. Now, I also have some vegetables and some chicken that I pan fried to make this a full meal. So I'm gonna plate it up and give it a try. So guys, it's a quick, easy comfort food. I have my risotto in there. I also put some squash and some chicken. So like I said, normally I'm over the stove stirring risotto. That's why it becomes like a meal that becomes a treat. So let me first just try the risotto by itself. There's no salt, no pepper on here, just how I showed you if I cooked it. Mmm. Wow. Oh my. That is really good. Put a little vegetable in there with it too. Oh, it's hot. Doing it from scratch, I think it's a little firmer. So maybe I just went a little too long. But it's totally acceptable and it's totally edible and tastes very good. So I will make my risotto like this again. It's very easy. It's very flavorful. It's very good. 
So I think dinner is served. Guys, the brand is Fika. It's on amazon.com. It virtually is so easy to use. It's a multi cooker. And if it can make risotto like this, I, I swear it can make anything. Look how creamy and beautiful that is. Hot and steamy. I think this is great for my own kitchen. I also think if you have a young ones going off to school, send this with them as well. Be a great gift too. The link will be below amazon.com. This absolutely gets the Terry by stuff. Big thumbs up. And you get the big thumbs up for being here today, guys. As always, appreciate you. Love you. Happy shopping. Happy eating. And we'll see you on the next round. Till then, guys. Bye.